Hello, welcome to Big Rig CEO. I'm James DeJong. Today I'm going to answer the big question. Why is it that some drivers that come to Schneider under the IC program with an SFI lease truck fail? I mean, it's kind of like stock car racing in a way. Um, you got thousands of of a couple thousand drivers uh, lease their truck and the the situation's basically similar their truck payments are about the same their fuel costs are about the same their insurance expenses are about the same and they're operating off of the same load board yet some guys succeed where uh, other drivers fail and, and it and it begs the question why I mean, how is it that two people with virtually the exact same setup go out of business? Um, and I've thought about that uh, a lot this last week. Um, a friend of mine had, had been talking to me about that. And, you know, what, what I've come up with to me is, is fairly simple. Um, it's about it's about attitude it's it's that simple you either have the attitude that you're going to succeed or you have the attitude that man this sucks everything sucks my loads canceled that sucks this sucks that sucks it's all just uh. well if you've got that attitude you're probably not gonna succeed um now, when my load's canceled, does it bum me out? Yeah, for about two minutes. And then I get on the load board and I book some more loads. If I have a breakdown issue, does it bum me out? Yeah, for about two minutes. And then I fix the problem and I get back to work. Um, and, and I just have this attitude of, I'm not going to let the little stuff get to me to the point where I let it cause me to start making bad business decisions. If I book loads in an area that I don't normally run and I'm trying to say get home and I can't get home, I'm not going to let that frustration cause me to do something that's going to cost my business money. For example, I'm not going to deadhead five or six hundred miles to go home. I'm simply going to eat eat the deal and just not go home. Um, now sometimes that's not a choice, but if you, if you keep a positive attitude about your situation, you're more than likely going to wind up with positive results. Uh, I, a huge example of that is your loads canceling. When your loads cancel, it's not the system is against you and the load board is different for you and this, it's, it's not. I've done enough coaching calls with drivers where, you know, they were on the load board, I was on the load board, we put in the exact same parameters and we came up with, with the exact same loads. And in doing that, I'm able to help the driver see how I would book the freight, what loads to be looking for. But what I've noticed unanimously with the 50 plus guys and gals that I've had conversations with is that we see the same loads. The, the, the deck isn't stacked against us. Sometimes loads cancel. Sometimes loads get pulled off you for whatever reason. You know, I don't know. That's that's part of the part of the game when you're with a company that also has company drivers. Do do loads get pulled off you once in a while to get another driver home? Sure, I'm sure it probably happens. Is it a common thing? No. Um, some shippers are more reliable than other shippers as far as having loads that are scheduled to come out at a certain time come out at a certain time, and other other shippers are consistently rescheduling whatever and when that happens um, 
take note of it. And don't let it ruin your attitude. Just make sure that you remember that when you're looking on the loads and then maybe you don't book that customer anymore. If you have a customer who's a real pain in the ass, and some of them are, you don't let that ruin you and give your give you such a bad attitude that you start making poor business decisions. Um, what I do is I just avoid that customer. Um, and that depends. Some customers pay so good that I'll deal with them being a pain in the ass. <laughs> I just will because... Maybe I gotta wait an extra three or four hours to get that load, but man, that load paid so good, it was worth waiting. Plus I got a nap and, you know, and again, that's just part of my attitude. I don't, I don't let it ruin my whole day and ruin my whole week. And if you're the type of person that, that constantly sees the negative and constantly has that negative attitude, I think you can constantly expect negative results. And it's not gonna matter whether you're here or you're on the spot market, or you're over at Landstar, or you're at a company where you're being dispatched. If you call your dispatcher on a regular basis and you've consistently got a negative attitude, you can expect negative results from a dispatcher. I, I learned that a long time ago. You cannot be Debbie Downer all the time. Um, and you can't be, you know, happy you lucky all the time either, but there is that happy medium um, that I have found where I just don't let the little things affect me at all. Um, and if they do, not for more than a minute. I don't spend days and days and days being bummed out and depressed. I don't, you know, and I don't have anything and, and like that where I'm all hopped up and excited all the time either. I'm just at a nice even keel, you know, it is what it is and, and work the problem, not let the problem be cause you more problems anyway that's the only reason I can think of why some drivers uh, that that come into the exact same program as me and they're in the exact same situation that I am in as far as their truck payment and everything their business is basically the same and the only reason I'm succeeding and some of them are literally dropping off like flies is the attitude it's, it's nothing more than that. Um, so anyway, if, if you're the type of person that, that has a negative attitude all the time, um, you might want to stop and think about, is, is your attitude causing you to make poor business decisions? Anyway, I'd like to know what you think. Um, do you think attitude causes poor business decisions and causes people to fail? The, 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 the Debbie Downers of the trucking world are the ones that are always having the same problems. Leave your comments down below. Um, if you like the video, do me a favor, hit the like button, share it uh, out on Facebook to all your friends. Don't forget, if you have not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. You can, you can uh, check us out on Facebook at Big Rig CEO. And if you need to get a hold of us, um, always Big Rig CEO at gmail.com. Until the next video, keep your wheels on the ground.